I think uh, the closest person that I've lost so far is my grandma, who sort of like brought me up because my parents were sort of like traveling when every time I was back home when I was a child. Um, and I lost her just before I got her into the industry, like debuted with my first film. And she, she was, she was someone. She was the closest to me in my family, and I'd lost her. And I've realized after that, ki my dealing with death is extremely different than what I thought it would be. I thought I'd be like, you know, drained in tears, like you know, just like not eating, not you know, just disconnected from the world. But surprisingly, I was angry. Like the. The only time I genuinely got angry from my heart was when she passed. I was like, I I didn't shed a tear. It was just like so much yeah. anger which had built up, and I was like, no, this is, mm, you know, it was that. But that's the only time I dealt with anger as an anger, you know. So that was my defense, I think, with uh, grief and death yeah. and everything. And I don't know, yeah, like. Maybe tomorrow something else would happen, and I don't know how I'll react to it because that, this is something which we generally yeah, yeah, don't we think don't know. about. But um, every time I, of course, there there was a part of me when I was shooting for the film, and I was like, how am I going to de- deal about my parents? Oh, yeah. my parents not being here anymore, and I don't know. I feel numb about it. Yeah, like I don't know how to react to it yet. No, it's the same thing because I've been in Bombay for eight years, been homesick. And um, every day I have this, um, I don't know. There's a strange thing when I'm low, and I just feel like, oh, would there be a day when I will not have them, and I'll regret staying away from them mm-hmm. for so long? Mm-hmm. Like there's a part of that also in the movie where the kids are away. You know, the kids are a little disconnected physically with yeah, the yeah. parents. Emotionally, I'm very connected to yeah, my parents. Yeah. I think I'm one of those child who will call my mom and say, "Listen, you've not called me for three days. What is this?" Yeah, I yeah, would yeah. want yeah, yeah. people to call me like ten times. Yeah, exactly. Too, yeah. That's what I do. <laughs> I relate mean, to you. Mm. But there is that. There is that side, like you said. Like you know, you feel that what to, what will happen when they are not there? Do you feel that sense of uh, catharsis when you think about those times? When you feel like, do do you feel that there'll be a sense of regret that we've not gotten time to spend enough with them? I think I'm already already. um feeling a little sad that i don't get to uh, sort of like stay with them and see them growing up you know seeing your parent also grow up yeah. is something like example i've seen my mom since she was 17 18 to now she is like 42 40 like you know it's it's amazing how You see your family, your parents' growth also as yeah. you're growing up, True. and every year, every emotion, every dealing that they go through, it's different and it's more mature. So you've seen them grow up, and I have a little sister who's like uh, you know eight years old, and I'm like, I don't get to see the growing up, you know. I just get to see the grown up, yeah. and I'm like, I miss it a lot. But again, I'm. And this person who's receiving so much love from everyone out there, True. and I feel equally responsible for them. So this is the sacrifice that I think my family has made for people out there, and um, they're very proud of me. And of I know that when they're not here anymore, they will be equally as proud. But yes, there will be a little sadness in my heart that I couldn't or I'm not 